friends, I'm Kyla and welcome or welcome back to the Infinite Library. Today is going to be a little bit different because it's an unboxing video, but it's not necessarily a book unboxing video. So I came home to these two absolutely ginormous heavy boxes. One of these is a bit damaged I think unfortunately, it's been raining a lot today and I can tell this top one is wet so I'm really hoping it hasn't damaged the contents inside but this is Kickstarter rewards from a TTRPG Kickstarter that I backed and the thing is I can't remember which one it is because I've backed two that I'm still waiting for rewards on. One is Queers which is a kind of superhero themed game and then the other one is Hecna, which is the one I'm most anticipating, to be honest, because it is a D&D &D campaign, but it's based around this like crazy circus and the art and all the things for it just look amazing. So we're going to open these up and find out exactly what's inside. I don't know which box you're supposed to open first. I was not expecting this to come in two boxes, to be honest. So let's get what may be the damaged one out of the way first, I guess. Okay, good news. Even though the box is drenched, the inside is cellophane wrapped. So there is no damage to the contents and it is indeed quiz. Um, so this is based off a type of gameplay that I've never done before. I think it's City of Mist. Um, but it, this is like, is a manga as well. And it's just got a lot of cool things. And I just love the whole concept of like queer superheroes. And it's kind of like you create characters that show pride in different ways. So yeah, this is the core box. Um, I will open it for a proper unboxing in a second, but it does contain the player guide, the master of ceremonies guide, the creator guide, five playable characters, oh, from the manga, uh, two queers dice, 20 character cards, 20 tracking cards, four scene maps, and volume one of the manga, which I, because I, like, I got a lot of this digitally as well, obviously, apart from the physical stuff, like the dice. So I haven't actually read the manga yet, even though I've had it digitally for a while. I've almost picked it up, but I'm actually really excited. I ordered this core box in the backer kit because originally I wasn't quite sure how good it was going to be and then once I started getting the digital resources come through and I was like oh this is really good I really want some of this physically um so I did end up ordering in backer kit the core box so yeah this is it it is quite chunky and quite heavy so I will open this in a second but I'm going to open the other box first and see what's in there because honestly I'm not sure what's in the other box because I thought I don't need to order the core box to come physically. So let's get this really ruined excuse for a box. It is absolutely drenched. But thankfully, what was inside it was not something that could be damaged by water. Right, so second box, here we go. Oh my God, okay, so it's another one? Did they send me two by accident? I don't think I ordered two. I guess um, I am part of like a D&D &D meetup group um that i help run uh we do other ttrpgs as well but it's lgbt specific i guess in this case i might just see if someone else like either wants to buy this from me or we can put it up as like a raffle prize when we're doing our sort of pride fundraising again so yeah i didn't expect to get two boxes <laughs> um but we'll just open one of them and we'll put the other one aside i don't know why they've sent me two okay so this is the box inside. First up, we have, uh, I guess this is a manga. This is massive. Like, for a manga, this is, like, graphic novel size. But, yeah, these are, like, some of the different characters you can see on it. And, yeah, excited to get to know them. We have the dice, which is, like, there's a little, like, transparenty purple one and a yellow one. Um, they've got these, like, the quiz like sigil on it that is not at all gonna show up um but that you can kind of see it it's like this the symbol from queers is on them uh we've got the the track cards the character cards which has apparently 20 which are your heroes villains minions and npcs this i think is like your your player sheet 
um, that you can fill in. It looks like it's um, like dry wipe, so you can write on it as long as you've got a dry wipe pen and then just change it as needed. So it's double sided. Um, that's really handy actually. I like that it's dry wipe. This is something I'm not sure. Um, I know this is one of the, the main characters. Uh, let's just open it. Um, oh, it's like a bio thing. These might be character sheets, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, these are like um, character sheets and bios. So you kind of open these up and it's like got all of their info inside. So this is absolutely fabulous, which, yes. Um, then we've got this guy who is Teddy Woof. Uh, yes. Uh, this is Twinkie Camp. This is like the main character, I think, in the manga Harvey M, who is the newest member of House Rainbow. And then we've got uh, Willie, who is a artist and a trans woman. So those are the main characters. Um, I'm assuming those are because you've got character sheets for them, I guess. And then we've got three books here. So we've got the Player Guide. It's not massively thick, but honestly, for a player, you don't want something massive to have to look through. You've got the MC Guide, by the way. Absolutely love this character on the cover. It's giving me massive Utena vibes. Love it. So this is... Oh, this has got, like, adventures in it. And then the Creator Guide, which I guess is kind of like your DM guide. So this is what you would use to, like, start planning your campaign and sessions and stuff. And then finally... Oh, if I can get it out, it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it in here because it doesn't want to come out, but these are maps. Um, so it looks like you've kind of got like a... Because oh, it's set in like a city kind of thing. So let's just open these up and have a look at them. They're very cool. I love how colourful all of this is. Okay, yes, yeah, so we've got two maps. This one... Oh, they're double-sided maps as well. So I guess it's actually probably four maps. Um, so you've got this is kind of like a like a, a night at the opera kind of thing um and then on the other side you've got like a this way i think a diner cafe kind of place um this is very like new york inspired essentially um and then on this one we have kind of like um like a, to me it looks like a workplace cafeteria but i guess just a cafeteria um and then I think the same cafeteria, but at night, or it could, no, it's the kitchen, I think. Um, or it's just an office. I think it's actually an office, looking at it now. So yeah, those are the four maps. They're really good. These are just, they're really good quality paper. I wish they would dry wipe though, just because that's so much easier for doing um, combat and stuff. So I'm going to open up the manga quickly and the cards just because I'm really intrigued by those and want to have a look at them. Okay, so I opened up the character cards and the manga. So let's have a little look at the character cards first. And this little box. Oh, these are cool. So let me just see. Like it says, like, I guess these are like, yeah, so these are your NPCs and stuff. So you can put these out on the table. So these are all, I think these are all pawns at the start here. Uh, oh, giant beaver constructs. That's a thing. Um, oh, monster. There we go. Uh, oh, Lucille. This is the guy who's very fabulous, I think. Or oh, the girl is very fabulous. Um, Lucille. Love their design. Richard Regency. Very Dr. Horrible mad scientist. Um, oh, okay, so it's kind of like their supervillain form, and then their, like, civilian form. Um, so I'm not going to show you their civilian form, because I realise that might be spoilers. Um, but then we've got Diamond Droid, who is, like, a robot lady, I guess. Uh, Snake. Ooh, Justin Beaver Diamond. A, a little man. These are... I think these are NPCs, actually. Um... Okay, these are like double-sided. So I think these are just like extra characters. Oh yeah, because here's the, uh, yeah, here's the main characters. Cool. So those are those. Um, let's have a little look at the, uh, the manga dedicated to the chicks. 
So this does seven chapters, I believe, of the manga. I don't actually know how far through this is. Oh, the colours though. I love the art from this. Like, honestly, it's so good. So I'm not going to scroll too close, but we'll just give you a little bit of a look through at the beginning just so you can kind of see what it's what it's like. So yeah, that's the manga. Um, yeah, really excited to check that out. And that is it really for this unboxing. I am really happy with all the things. It's all super high quality. Still can't believe they sent me two boxes. So yeah, but that's it I guess. Uh, until next time, stay safe, stay cozy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.